Hello my dear health seekers, Inga from Health Origins here and today it's another dessert and another sweet potato dessert. We're going to be making sweet potato brownies. So let's begin. So because the uh, sweet potato chocolate cake worked out so fantastically, I decided to also try and make sweet potato brownies. So I'm using the recipe from a website called Intoxinista, um, but I'm doubling everything and kind of doing a couple of um, little substitutions too. So we're going to start from wet ingredients. So um, like I say, I'm doubling the recipe. So this is one and a half cups of um, steamed and mashed sweet potato. Then I have half a cup of avocado and half a cup of um, almond butter. So in the original recipe she was using half a cup of almond butter but I didn't want to double the butter so and I had some avocado to use up. I think it's going to make for a bit lighter and less dense brownie because I feel like a whole cup of um, almond butter is going to be just too rich and too much. So, and like I say, it gives me a chance to use up my avocado. So I'm adding the avocado and the, the almond butter in with the sweet potatoes. Then we need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So about two teaspoons. And I'm going to give this um, a little mix to incorporate it all together. Wow, look at the color of this. It's almost a rainbow here. Beautiful. So the wet ingredients are pretty much uniformly mixed. Now I'm going to get on with the dry ingredients. So I'm adding a little bit more flour than the original recipe states. The original recipe, half a recipe was a third of a cup of gluten-free flour. Um, so you can you make it with gluten-free flour if you're obviously gluten intolerant or celiac. But I'm gonna use um, whole wheat fine uh, flour. So this is kind of like a whole wheat pastry flour, very fine whole wheat flour. But I'm gonna use a cup because I'm doubling, but I'm not doing two thirds, but I'm doing nearly a cup. Um, because I just think it's not enough flour for the, the amounts of wet ingredients here. So, and um, this seems a lot, uh, but this is a cup and a half of sugar. So, um, the toxinista specifies one cup of coconut sugar. However, I only had half a cup. Um, and I'm kind of not doubling, I'm not going to do two cups of sugar because that seems way, way too much for, for the rest of the ingredients. So I'm cutting half a cup out. So I'm doing one cup of um, uh, Demerara caster sugar that I've kind of blended up a little bit. Um, so kind of like a light brown sugar that I've blended into finer caster consistency. And then I've got half a cup of coconut sugar in there as well. So this is a cup and a half of sugar. There's so much sugar, but apparently that's how brownies are made. Um, more even sugar than the rest of the ingredients, which is um, just bizarre. So I'm just, and like I say, I've already cut out half a cup of sugar, so hopefully it's gonna be not gonna be too sweet. Um, and then one cup of cocoa powder here. If your cocoa powder is quite clumpy, then you might want to sift it in. Uh, I'm going to try and kind of mix it in and break it through this way. Um, then we need two teaspoons of baking powder as well. And two, two teaspoons, and then half a teaspoon of salt. And that's all the dry ingredients, so I'm going to just try and mix this up so it's more uniform. And because this is a double batch, I've got two um, tins here ready for baking and my oven is preheating on 165 um, degrees Celsius and minus fan oven. So if yours is not fan oven, it's about 
175 degrees. So now the dry ingredients seem uniform. I'm gonna put the wet mixture in. Or you could have done it the other way around. You could have done the wet mixture into a bigger bowl so you can just pour um, the, wet, uh, the dry ingredients cleanly into the dirty bowl. Um, I normally tend to do that actually so that I don't have to have two uh, dirty messy bowls. And now I'm just gonna mix the two together. So this is quite a stiff dough it looks like, um, but I'm persevering and kind of trying to mix it through. Since I added some extra flour, actually that's why I think it's stiffer than normal. So I'm going to add maybe um, two, four tablespoons of um, soy milk. So here I've got some homemade soy milk and I'm going to add just a couple of tablespoons just to balance out that extra bit of flour that I've added. And you want to be careful not to over mix this batter because obviously this being wheat flour it's got gluten so you don't want kind of tough um, tough brownies. So I think that's loosened up quite a bit so that'll be good. And the last uh, ingredient is about a cup of um, dark chocolate ch uh, chips. So I'm just adding them in and mixing them through. I can feel this is going to be quite yummy brownies. So that's it. So I've lined my um, 22 centimeter square um, tins with um, parchment paper. These are glass, obviously, containers as you can see, but you could use metal ones, whichever ones you prefer. But for one, for half the recipe, you need 22 centimeter um, tin, apparently, or nine inch. So I'm just gonna put about half a batter in one, and then the other half a batter in the second one. And then I'm gonna just Try and make it as even at the base as possible to kind of make a thin layer, um, even layer at the bottom. Right, I think it's about as even as I'll, I'll get with that one. And I'll do the second one too. Right, so the, my two brownies are ready to go into the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. 40 minutes later and we have our brownies. So have a look. So actually on one of them I've added some raspberries, some homegrown raspberries um, just before putting it in the oven. I thought, you know, I'll try it out. But um, I'm just gonna cut into the original one to taste test it for you because we're going camping. So I'm taking these camping so, um, but I want to taste test a little piece for you. So I'm gonna just, slice it. It's looking really nice and actually the texture is really nice. It's it's um, soft and gooey but it's not too soft that it's mushy so actually I was able to cut it and pick it up quite cleanly as you can see. Wow I'm excited to try this. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh wow, these are so good mm. and they definitely have enough sugar there. You know I think brownies obviously have to be sweet but if I put two cups of sugar as it you know the recipe indicated would be just overly sweet. I think this is just nice. Um, I need to try again. <laughs> These are still warm, uh, mm, really yummy. So really thumbs up for me, from me, this recipe. I think I'm definitely gonna make this again. 
I hope my friends in our camping trip will enjoy it as well. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, welcome to the channel where I uh, upload videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And remember guys, food is fuel. So be mindful of what you put in the body. Until next time. Thank you.